When winter arrives, most animals have two options, migrate or hibernate. Frogs, however, seem to break the rules entirely. Instead, they remain right where they are, and then something extraordinary happens. Their bodies freeze solid, their hearts stop beating, their breathing ceases, ice forms inside their tissues. By every definition, they seem dead. Yet when spring arrives, they thaw, hop away, and live on. How do frogs freeze in winter without dying? Let's find out right here on History of Simple Things. The answer lies in an extreme survival strategy that sounds like science fiction, but is real. Only certain frogs can do this, most notably the wood frog, which lives across North America from the southern U.S. to Alaska. Instead of escaping winter, wood frogs hibernate beneath leaf litter or shallow soil, directly exposed to freezing air. Evolution didn't teach them to flee the cold. It taught them to survive it. As temperatures drop in autumn, a wood frog's body begins preparing long before the first snow falls. The process is slow, deliberate, and remarkably precise. When freezing temperatures finally arrive, ice starts forming on the outside of the frog's body first, on the skin, and in the spaces between cells. This external freezing triggers a chain reaction inside the frog. Sensors in the frog's body detect ice formation, and within minutes, the liver releases massive amounts of glucose into the bloodstream. This glucose isn't for energy. It's a powerful antifreeze. It floods the frog's organs, enters cells, and prevents deadly ice crystals that would rupture tissue. Glucose levels can rise to over 100 times normal, concentrations fatal to most animals. As freezing deepens, up to 65% of the frog's body water turns to ice. Blood flow stops, the heart and brain shut down, and the frog remains suspended between life and death for months. At this point, metabolism drops to nearly zero. Cells survive on minimal energy reserves. There is no movement, no response, no awareness. If you were to find a frozen frog in winter, it would feel stiff and lifeless in your hand. But biologically, something remarkable is happening. Life is paused, not ended. This ability is known as freeze tolerance, and it's one of the rarest survival strategies in the animal kingdom. Most animals die when ice forms inside their bodies. Even a small amount of internal freezing is usually catastrophic. Frogs survive by controlling where ice forms, how fast it spreads, and how their cells respond to it. That level of control is the result of millions of years of evolutionary fine-tuning. Interestingly, Glucose isn't the only protective substance involved. Some freeze-tolerant frogs also produce urea, a compound most animals excrete as waste. In frogs, urea helps stabilize proteins and reduces water loss from cells during freezing. Together, glucose and urea create a chemical shield that protects delicate cellular machinery while the body is frozen solid. Freezing is only half the challenge. The real danger comes during thawing. As ice melts, blood flow and oxygen surge back into dormant tissues, a process that would cause severe oxidative damage in most animals. Frogs survive thanks to powerful antioxidants that neutralize this stress. Within hours, the heart and lungs restart, muscles recover, and often within a day, the frog hops away with no lasting damage, resuming life as if nothing happened. Scientists studying freeze-tolerant frogs were initially skeptical. 
Early researchers believed that animals could survive cold by avoiding freezing, not embracing it. It wasn't until the mid-20th century that experiments confirmed frogs could survive being frozen solid. In controlled laboratory settings, researchers froze wood frogs to temperatures well below zero, thawed them, and watched them recover completely. This discovery reshaped how scientists think about the limits of life. The implications go far beyond frogs. Understanding freeze tolerance has influenced research in organ preservation, cryosurgery, and even space travel. If scientists can learn how frogs protect their cells during freezing and thawing, it could improve how human organs are stored for transplants or how tissues are preserved during medical procedures. Freeze tolerance is also shaping research on long-term space travel, where safely pausing and restarting biological systems could one day make human hibernation possible. While freezing humans remain far off, frogs provide a biological blueprint. Not all species use the same strategy, but the wood frog stands out for its extreme resilience, surviving weeks of freezing and temperatures as low as 18 degrees Celsius, colder than many household freezers. Despite this incredible ability, freeze-tolerant frogs are not invincible. Climate change poses a new and complex threat. Warmer winters with unpredictable freeze-thaw cycles can actually be more dangerous than consistently cold temperatures. Frogs are adapted for long, stable freezes, not repeated thawing and refreezing. Each freeze-thaw cycle increases stress on cells and raises the risk of injury. Human activity, like deforestation, soil compaction and pollution, threatens the delicate conditions frogs need to survive. Yet these resilient animals show that survival doesn't always mean constant activity. By pausing life through freezing, they endure what would be fatal to most creatures, and when spring arrives, they return. Proof that life can persist in astonishingly strange and resilient ways. So the next time you see a frog hopping through a forest pond in spring, remember this. Just months earlier, that same animal may have been frozen solid, heart stopped, breath absent, preserved by ice and sugar. It wasn't dead, it was waiting. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.